हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम रितेश एंड यू आर वॉचिंग डांसिंग विद डेटा क्योंकि डेटा ही दाता है एंड टूडे वी हैव वन स्पेशल प्रोफाइल फॉर यू ही इज़ अनुराग सुप संदे राइट नाउ ही इज़ वर्किंग के पी डॉट बी आई लाइक आई ऑल्सो वर्क इन के पी डॉट बी आई यू कैन से ही इज़ अ सॉर्ट ऑफ कलीग फॉर मी एंड रिसेंटली ही वन ए सिंगिंग कॉम्पिटिशन एज वेल रीजन टू डाई KPPN is rising. Well, that's impress impressive, and there's a reason behind to show this. This will be part of our story. Well, the recent degree from Liverpool John Moore's University. It all started with BCom. Today's call is all about journey from BCom to top data visualization voice to solution architect at KP. BI to being a Tableau expert, no pro certified, so forth and so on. So this video is all about giving you a. genuine profile video is not going to take you to a course or something like that basically my aim is to is to burst few myths same time it can be an opportunity for you so if you are bcom or even say ba ba can be harder but even if you are at that situation right now and if you want to change you can get some inspiration from his profile or his journey today's video is based on my conversation with anurag and let's get started okay so why bcom that's the first question So let me tell you that uh, Anurag was a good student at science in his 12th class. He still went for BCom because he wanted to be a professional drummer. The drum was his favorite musical instrument. Then why BCom? He could have done BTech. If he could have done BTech, he would not have got that much of time because with this BCom, it was like 8 to 11 a.m. and by the time, and after that time, all day is for you. He used that time to polish his drumming skills. Uh, give uh, well, stage shows, so forth and so on. But you know, this is a showbiz industry, and it's not all about talent. There are several other factors as well. And soon, Anurag realized that he was not getting that sort of result that he was expecting. And time has come to rethink about the strategy and the sort of job he needs to do. Now he is looking for a job on the basis of the degree that is BCom. But you know that there are not many opportunities. I mean, if you compare this BCom with BTEC, so definitely you have limited opportunities with BCom. Finally, he got a job in Cognizant, and that is with respect to his BCom skill set. So it's a non-IT job, and this is a good learning for you as well. And I'll tell you why. Remember that there can be non-IT jobs in an IT company. So even if you are doing a non-IT job, there is a good chance if you strike at the right time with the right skill set. Give some extra effort. I'll give you even one more example. Have you heard about IT Infotech, Cox Town, Bangalore? In their case, also I remember that if you are doing really well in uh, the BPO department, then there was a chance for them to switch over to a IT job. But I think there that was for you know B Tech guys doing the BPO job over there. So I don't remember that that part. But that I remember that you can you can switch from BPO. to the usual it job if you are performing well in the bpo the model of the story is even with a bcom degree if you take this example where anurag is working in cognizant with a bcom degree and definitely he must be working or doing work related to accounts and all but the advantage is that he is getting the domain knowledge over there number 1 and also now he has got access to other technical folks or say bi forum that might be there in cognizant so forth and so on he has got the opportunity to reach out to the other teams to the to the it team that okay i also want to work right i have learned tableau so in parallel he was learning tableau or i've learned tableau via online course you know there are several is available at a reasonable rate udemy is a great example first of all you need to learn right not only you can reach out to a manager to your manager for a stretch assignment and that's what he did after that once he learned tableau and he reach out to his manager that you know i i want to change my profile and that's what the manager role is also very important fortunately he had a very good manager who supported him he encouraged him to learn more encouraged him to learn business intelligence provide him adequate resources so forth and so on remember one thing i would suggest you that even if you don't get a good manager and that's your duty to learn if you want to switch even if your manager is not showing interest you need to push because that's your right to learn more in in any company so he cannot deny you your right in any company you will have bi forum so he joined that forum and when you are in a specialized group you you are in that network now you have connections when you have connections you know that you know where 
are the jobs available his team is doing what work that really helps you and finally he was able to get in touch with the bei head and anura gives a lot of credit to her and finally he got an opportunity to work in a tableau project so you can say it was a, it was a sort of combination of learning tableau via via online course that was the initiative and the knowledge that he gained from the internal bei tech forum you can say and some of the mini projects that he did with all this knowledge it helps him to really perform well in the project and now he has got the permanent it role in cognizant now look let me tell you it's not easy first of all you are doing your regular job which is a non it job then you are reaching out to your manager you can reach only you know reach you can reach out to your manager only when you learn something you have something to show case right otherwise they won't take you seriously now whether your manager is supportive or not you go for the stretch assignment you say that you want to take your skill set to another level you need to push right so you don't you need not to complain that my manager is not good now you need to push your manager also sometime right if you need to switch to a different domain which you really like you need to work harder right now when i say work harder definitely if you are working say 8 hours for your project you need to dedicate some more time for the new technology right for the new bi tech forum for the new mini project right what you are doing in parallel so initially definitely you are working more you are working harder than any of the other data analyst over there because you need to fill that gap because they are already ahead so you need to work harder for sure look you can just say to your manager that they, so i am dedicating 8 hours for your project so i am giving 2 hours more right that is beyond the you know work hour limit that i have for your project so you should not have any problem that's it. simple So before we talk about the education, uh, Anurag worked in Cognizant uh, for about 4.5 years. So once you have got 4.5 years of IT experience, experience with some of the top tools in the market like Tableau or Power BI, now people will stop asking about your degree. Anurag switched from Cognizant to a new company after around 4.5 years. But the thing that I would like to share with you is that he did not stop. over here let me show you he did his diploma from triple iit bangalore and the diploma was on data science not only that after that uh, not after that i think it's along with that itself then you can see 2021 to 2023 this is a full fledge degree from liverpool john moose university this is totally online but you do get valid masters degree over there so again you can imagine that you know you, he is working really really hard over there because now he is into it job but then at the same time during the weekend he is joining his uh, classes over there that he was promoted to uh, to an architect job when he was in um, kipi and there are so many things to do for him now you would say that i am trying to contradict myself because i just said that you know once you have got the experience then no one will ask you for your degree there are two reasons right one is he could have done btech but he did not and the reason is already shared with you so he wanted to do proper degree proper assignment proper classes proper discipline this is a pretty recognized university by the way with really really good faculty so quality education under quality faculty is always effective and this is fetching you a degree as well now this degree will be pretty handy because data analysis is okay maybe they will not ask you for your degree once you have completed you know more than 5 or 6 years of experience or more than 4 years of experience but then if you want to switch over to a data science job or if you want to work as a data scientist then your bcom degree may not help you even sometime your btech degree will also not help you so there are two reasons for anurag over here so this was anurag sub sandesh stories and i hope this has inspired you as it inspired me as well remember this is one way in this way anurag did not resign from his job because he was in a company where there were it jobs as well so he learned this skill set also he tried to be a part of several bi communities or bi tech forum he did a few mini project with tableau to gain more confidence he tried to share his interest with his manager as soon as possible because there is no room for delay over here because you know because sort of you have already delayed it right so there is no way to delay it further soon he turned into a full time bi consultant and after that he completed his education he did his ms from liverpool john moose university Some people might say that okay we will do uh, any online course and from there we can get placed i'm not sure about this i'm not talking about that part we are different video for that 
but anyways i think anurag has has done enough to shine and definitely you have to do hard work all the time to maintain it and i'm sure he is doing that ritesh signing off from dancing with data kyunki data hi data hai kya tumko sab kuch aata hai